Tracy. Thank you for stopping by my channel. I hope that you are doing well and ready um, prep for good Christmas. Anyway, so um, today I'm going to read the message from the Spirit for you. Um, start today until going through until next week. So take in what resonates and leave the rest. I am going to um, start out with the message from your person. So here, let's get started. The card always been shuffled, as I already do. I'm going to go ahead and pull this message from your person. This is your first message from the person that you love. It said, I don't react when people mention you. We'll see what else is coming for you. All right, so well, be patient and make sure that you see all of that. I feel you leaving me behind. This is your message from your person. Take in what resonates and leave the rest. All right, so the next message, we need to let each other go. Mm. For some reason, if something is up between you two, I'll keep look at the message. Don't give up yet, so we'll see what more coming for you. I left you before you could leave me. Wow, maybe that is a childish going on, but we'll see what's going on here. Perhaps they feel sorry for themselves. We don't know yet. Let's just take a look for more. All right, I am afraid to contact you. After all of those confusions and, you know, blaming or, or not sure, they, they do want to contact you, but they're afraid to do so because maybe, maybe you tell them not to, Pisces. Alrighty, I am not available. Hmm. All right, so nonetheless, you know, they want to contact you and they're afraid of you. So, um. Let's see, let's do one more card. Ah, I want you, see, I want to clarify all of those cards. So nonetheless, they want to contact you. They still want you. Whatever going on between you two, Pisces, your person is want you and you know, want to contact you. And maybe you tell them not to contact you. So take that resonate. If you want to, you can contact them. Perhaps they're afraid that you will be angry. All right, so on the next pie, we have uh, energies of transformation. So this is a significant life experience that require you to change whatever it is. need to be made and change to be made. Now, this is a powerful and often unexpected revelation. You know, perhaps it's breaking free from any kind of procrastination or release the own belief or the own path that is not working for you anymore. So the energy call upon you, say, hey, Pisces, this route, this path, this idea that's not serving you well, you need to change it. You need to change it right now. If you don't, I may have to do it for you. Listen to them, Pisces. The spirit asks upon you that you need to change. If not, you know, someone else will take over. So when when the universe will give you a chance to do it, you need to do it. So don't let someone else to to um, tie your hand down and do it for you, okay? So the path that you chose is not going well right now. Change it, okay? Ah, oh, there's a justice. After you change it, you suddenly will receive your justice. You know, be impartial and objective. Stand up for what you believe and you will reserve your justice, okay? Try to see all sides of the situation before you make your final judgment. Now, you need to win if your position is one of integrity. You will win if your position is in one of integrity. Perhaps you are in the court system, perhaps you are battering out of something, but the justice is certainly on your side, is on your way. Okay, so no matter what situation is, the justice will be yours. So 
take notice of that. Now we have a nine of sword. You worry too much. You know, you unfounded fear. Don't be don't be in fear, okay? Expecting the worst. Or you're creating self-fulfilling, you know, and, and uh, prophecy. Or you allow worry to grow out of proportion. Or have you overthinking this to the situation cause you to sleep less at night or focus on your thought? I think perhaps so, though, because I can see why you worry. Because first, the spirit asks you to do your transformation. If you don't, we are going to do it for you. And then however it is, you know, perhaps you are in a court system, perhaps you are waiting in, you know, the law battle of something, but justice will come to your way though. The, uh, you know, the spirit promised you this. That's why you are stay up and watering at night because you are worried about the situation, what is going on with you there, okay? So make sure you make the change. Make sure you just believe that, you know, the justice is on your way. Um, so don't worry about it. And don't lose your sleep over it. And just put your head straight and uh, taking care of the situation. Okay? So let's see one more message on this pie. Look at this moon, moon lighting. Moonlight. So this is energy telling you, you know, maybe you don't see things clear. Maybe you don't feel like anything is happening after you put a lot of work into it. The thing is, you know, things that happen behind the scene. Things are working behind the scene. Even though you don't see it, something will come for you. Truly will come for you. All right, so let's see one more message from this pile. Wow, encouragement. See? You know, you you need to, uh, you know, be out. You know, the Spirit encourages you to be out, out in the world, to facing the world, chasing your challenge, chasing your obstacle, chasing your issue, and just face, you know, face it and hit it right on. So don't hide around the bush. Just go out to do it. The more you do it, you know that things will come to your way. And the more you uh, not giving up and go out and face your problem, your issue, face it on, don't hide it, don't scrub underneath the rocks, you know, it's only a band-aid, so go and face it and take care of it, all right? Okay, so one more message from you, from this pie, please, Spirit, wishing well, see, Spirit telling you, Pisces, you know, even though you don't see it, you believe it, just wishing and asking and manifesting, you know, the more you ask, you know, only thing you need to do is ask. You know, the Spirit wants you to ask. No matter how, how you ask, just ask. Because they cannot just come and budge in to help you. You know, they want to hear that you're asking. Give the permission to help. It will come your way, okay? Wishing, manifesting, ask. Ask, you shall receive. Alright, so let's take a look at this message from this time. Um, from the bottom here, the priestess, okay? How are you being called to step up and and lead? Do you understand how you're going to lead? You know, the spirit calling you. You know, how you're going to be the, the leader. Step up and help and lead and guide, you know, someone else. Or guide yourself, guide your group, guide your uh, family out of the obstacle. Uh, out of trouble, out of issue. You know, you can do this. Ask yourself, how can you do this? I know you have an answer for this. I trust that you do. You have enough on the strength. All right, so now it's the climbing. The question asking you is, what are you clinging on to? Why are you clinging on this ugliness? On this sadness, on this not serving you well. Look at how dark and and foggy and lightning. The skies are so scary on this side of the of the road that you are traveling here. Are you clinging on this ugliness? Thing does not serve you well. That is why. That is why the spirit called for you to do 
your transformation. If not, they are going to do that for you. Now you have a free will to do so. Do by yourself. Do it for yourself. Move from this place and not serving you well and enter this beautiful garden of the flower, the beautiful light, the beautiful refreshing air here. And you see all of this beautiful sunrise and sunset here. Don't stay in this place. Okay, so you need to change. The Spirit called upon you to change. You know, Spirit cannot stand, can't stand to see you over here. That's not serving you well. Move forward to the place that shine the light on your life there, okay? All right, so let's do one more card from this pie. If we may, please, Spirit, on my pie, so you need to know from this pie. Oh, look at this, unbound, releasing the soul pattern, you know, your contract. Whatever that you tie yourself down or the past life, unbow from the past life, unbow from the things that are not serving you well, release it and let it go. And you will be much more happy, much more clear, and much more lighter in your chest, okay? You will feel it will be so much more better for yourself. See, unbow, unbow this ugliness out from your pathway. The spirits already call upon you to change, so unbow it, let it go. All right, so let's see more um, energy from this pie. Oh, look at this. The love is coming for you. You're offering the two cup, 50-50 love. No one taking more or less. Between you and them. See, look. They want you. They want you. Your person wants you. What else do they have here? So, let's see. Yeah, I would say we need to let each other go. If God don't be able to. Let's see, look at this. Your person wants you. They're coming. Offer 50-50 love. 50-50 evil opportunity. They are not going to take advantage of you. The love coming. They are coming to offer you love. They are coming to take you out from the obstacle in your life. They are going to be your true love. They are going to come and give the offer love. The love that they are longing to have with you. So look at this on the love that are coming there. I am so happy for you, Pisces. This person is coming back for you. I am so, so, so happy for you. I'm going to leave it here. Okay, see what else is there. Look at this. This is the balancing between the earth and the life and the heaven and everything else in your life. It's a balancing call. Everything will work out for you. The temperance. The balancing. Mm -hmm. The balancing between life, not any alcohol or, or, or drug or anything issue. I can see the balancing in your life because there's so much obstacle around here and you know, calling to transformation. You couldn't sleep and you worry things not going to serve you well, but justice here. The justice telling you everything will work out for you. Look at this, Pisces. I am so happy for you. We have a cart and a chariot. Look at this. You see that? We have so many things that kind of confusion from your person here. But look at this. They want you. The love coming offering to you 50-50 equal opportunity. And that is a hardworking chariot recognition to be a hero to be a hero of the hometown or the workplace but if you come down look at here down here Pisces you see here the two spink here is a symbol of the twin fame soulmate the true love look at this your person wants you they're coming they're coming to offer love a cup of love 50 50 and this they are your soulmate. You are their true love. They are their everything, you know. They want you. 
So I am so happy for you to see this card coming out for you here. This is amazing. This is beautiful. I'm going to leave it right here because it's so amazing. So that is some wonderful message for you there, okay? So, all right, so we'll see what more uh, message from this abandoned pile. The spirit say, serve a vow of poverty. Dear one, this message from the spirit, dear one, there's no need to suffer or sacrifice. Hone the intention of un undoing any vow of poverty or self-deny that you may have made consciously or unconsciously in any lifetime. So as you do so, all effect of other vow will be undone for everyone involved in all direction of time. So this is the spirit promise you. So don't worry about anything else everything will come true now with the energy of clearing your death so you know yourself care involved remo removing the heavy burden of financial and emotional death from your life you already feel lighter and free just by facing this topic and making a plan clear present obligation and avoid future future one as well so make sure you don't hold any money unless you really really need to otherwise clear your debt okay you'll be so much happy in your life next message please attract attracting not chasing the spirit asking you anything or anyone you chase after will run the other way because of the fear underlying chasing energy instead attract what you need by sending out love gratitude and willing and welcoming energy so making sure that you're attracting don't chase anything anything that meant to be your will be yours even this true love of your here, it will be yours if it meant to be yours. Okay, so here you are, your true love. Don't chase. Just send out love. If they're meant to be yours, they love you, they'll come for you. If it meant to be yours, it will be yours, Pisces. So this is what their spirit telling you. Okay, no chase. Just making sure the pure love, just send out the love. Now I'm going to ask the spirit for your um, question. Have your question in mind. I'm going to I'm going to ask the spirit for your uh, answer. Already, okay. Have your question in mind. I'm going to ask the spirit for your answer. Is this going to be yes or no answer? Here it comes. So I'm going to be caught any minute now, any second now. All right, here's a card. I feel like that's yours. Oh boy, whatever your question for, the spirit said, worry us. You have to worry. You have to worry us because the spirit asks you to do the transformation and maybe the justice, some things is in the way, so. Don't be sad, don't be, you know, don't think too much and don't pondering around because you know why? Maybe you are overreacting because everything else uh, that working out for you. All, the only thing that you need to do is just do your transformation and change your way and everything else should be okay. Nonetheless, though, don't worry. Everything's are good. All of your messaging are wonderful. So let go this worryness, okay? The question for you. Um, the answer for you from the universe is just hold off for this week. We'll take a look together next week how it go um, on this, um, your answer here. Okay, Pisces, overall though, you are amazing um, energy coming toward you from the universe. So before then, I wish you um, well and safe and Merry Christmas.
talk soon. Take care.